प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू रिजॉल्व एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टीन एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन बाई टू एक्स प्लस थ्री प्लस एक्स प्लस थ्री ओल स्क्वायर इंटू पार्शल फ्रैक्शन इंटू पार्शल फ्रैक्शन सो हियर सी द जी ऑफ एक्स कंटेन्स नॉन रिपीटेड लीनर फैक्टर एंड रिपीटेड लीनर फैक्टर दैट मीन्स इन दिस केस रूल नंबर वन एंड रूल नंबर टू बोथ साइमलटेनियसली वी हैव टू यूज सो वॉट आर द पार्सल फ्रैक्शन कैन एग्जिस्ट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम लेट एस सी फॉर नॉन रिपीटेड लीनर फैक्टर टू एक्स प्लस थ्री देर एग्जिस्ट वन दैट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए बाई टू एक्स प्लस थ्री फॉर एक्स प्लस थ्री वोल स्क्वायर टू बी बाई एक्स प्लस थ्री एंड सी बाई एक्स प्लस थ्री वोल स्क्वायर That means here also in this case we have to find out the three values a, b, c. So first let us write the partial existing partial fractions. Then we have to find out a, b, c values. So now x square plus thirteen x plus fifteen by two x plus three x plus three all square. Equals to a by 2x plus 3 plus b by x plus 3 plus c by x plus 3 whole square. Now x square plus 13x plus 15 by 2x plus 3 into x plus 3 whole square. Equals to LCM is two x plus three into x plus three whole square. If this is divided by two x plus three, you get a times x plus three whole square. Plus this is b times two x plus three into x plus three. Plus x plus three whole square cancel. C times two x plus three. This this gets cancelled. We get a times two x plus three whole square plus b times two x plus three into x plus three plus c times two x plus three equals to x square plus thirteen x plus fifteen. Okay. Since we have two linear factors x plus three and two x plus three, let us substitute their zeros. So first, let us substitute x is equal to minus three. If we put x is equal to minus three, x is equal to minus three. See, x plus three becomes zero. X plus three become zero means this become zero and this become zero. So now c times you will be getting minus six plus three equals to minus three square plus thirteen into minus three plus fifteen plus fifteen. So this is minus three c. Equal to nine minus thirty nine plus fifteen. Twenty four. This is twenty four minus thirty nine plus twenty four. So minus fifteen. Minus three c is equal to minus fifteen c is equal to five. Hence c value has been evaluated in this case. So now. Zero of the polynomial of two x plus three. That is x is equal to minus three by two. So put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus three by two. Put x is equal to minus
put x is equal to minus 3 by 2 means this become 0 because 0 into something 0, 0 into something 0. So, now a times minus 3 by 2 plus 3 whole square equals to x square minus 3 by 2 whole square plus 13 into minus 3 by 2 plus 15. Let us simplify this value. So, this implies a minus 3 plus 3 by 2 whole square 9 by 4 minus 39 by 2 plus 15. This is 9 a by 4, 4 LCM, 9 minus 39 plus 30, plus 30. Now, sorry this is 60 because 15 4 of 60, 4 4 gets cancelled, 9 a equals to 60 plus 30 90 a is equal to 10. Now, a value c value two values have been obtained, but we require to find out b value. How to find out the b value? So, now b value we can find out like this. Comparing or equating equating x square coefficients on both sides, both sides you will get a doubt why should we take x square coefficient, why not x coefficient, ok no problem any coefficient you can take it. So, let us take equate x square coefficients. So, that means here x square coefficient is a, here 2x into x 2, 2b, a plus 2b equals to this right hand side x square coefficient is 1. Now, we know a for 10, a is equal to 10, 10 plus 2b is equal to 1, 2b is equal to minus 9, b is equal to minus 9 by 2. Now, therefore, partial fractions x square plus 13x plus 15 by 2x plus 3 into x plus 3 whole square is equal to a, a means 10, 10 by 2x plus 3. Now, b, b is minus 9 by 2. So, minus 9 by 2 into x plus 3, x plus 3 and next c. So, 5 by x plus 3 whole square. So, like this we can find out the partial fractions of given problem.